Okay. Now, one thing I was going to ask, too, and just, you know, just since I got you in front of me, I would miss not to ask you this. What's the effectiveness of latex gloves? Do you think if they don't have hand sanitizer, but if people go out to public places, like they go into grocery stores or clothing mm -hmm. stores, and they wear like latex or plastic gloves, is that, is that safe? Yes and no. So, uh, and it doesn't have to be latex gloves. It could even be something like gardening gloves. Um, so if you're going somewhere where you know you're gonna to be touching stuff a lot, and, and I know some people do that when they go to the store, um, it is an extra layer of precaution that's not unreasonable um, but how you put them on and take them off is important. So healthcare workers that use these gloves for procedures, you know, certainly like surgery doctors or nurses that work in an intensive care unit where they have a patient who has something that's very contagious, like a bad bacterial resistant staph infection, you know, mm -hmm. that, that they're trying really hard not to spread around. Mm -hmm. They have a special way of, taking their, putting their gloves on and taking them off. So the gloves themselves don't get germs on them. Okay. So if you have gloves on and you touch something, you're still touching your face, then that glove's not doing you any good. Or if you are taking them on, putting them back on and, um, you know, then holding them with your hands that are contaminated, uh, then that's not helping you either. So before you put the gloves on, you should, you should use some hand sanitizer or wash your hands, then put them on. And then when you take them off, you need to immediately dispose of them if, if they're disposable, like latex gloves, and then uh, clean your hands before you touch anything else because the gloves themselves can become contaminated. If you use the gardening gloves, which is very reasonable to go to the, the drugstore or something else, you know, when you get back in your car, you know, take them off, you know, toss them on the floor of the car or something. And then uh, you don't have to wash them necessarily, you know, but they need to be quarantined for a while. Uh, you know, and, and probably by the next day, they're fine because uh, the virus doesn't live forever on surfaces like that. But that's just something to be aware of. I don't wear gloves if I go somewhere, um, you know, like, you know, I went to the grocery store the other day and I used a grocery cart and I, you know, I touched a few things. I just uh, was careful not to touch my face while I was, inter you know, through that process. And then I used hand sanitizer as soon as I got back to my car. And, you know, I also put hand sanitizer on my steering wheel and stuff like that just to, uh, as a precaution. So that's, that's very reasonable. Gloves are not necessary, but if you use them, if you don't use them properly, they're not going to help you and they could act you could accidentally maybe make things worse all right well any do you know what's happening in birmingham find out now with the all-new what's happening birmingham app download today on android iphone and ipad for free get info on everything you need to know about local news events businesses restaurants and more visit our website what's happening birmingham.com follow us on twitter at happening Beham, or call us at 205-538-4508 Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today. What's Happening Birmingham, your source for everything Birmingham.